there, Peter, I said, looking out into the countryside in front of me. Peter's gaze joined mine, and he stared into the distance as the rising sun lit up the land. I don't think so, Matt, he said. Not this time. OK, I replied. We continued to look out across the landscape and make small talk. Reminisce about what we did last weekend. Plan what we're going to do next weekend. Laugh and joke with each other to kill time. I paused for a minute to breathe in the crisp morning air. Oh, it smells good. And I raised my head to feel the rays of that early morning sun warm my face. And I smiled a contented smile. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, Sounds idyllic, doesn't it? But this isn't the scene of two friends stood on a hilltop in the mountains admiring the view in some benign land. I stood in a trench in a war zone, scanning my arcs, keeping an eye out for the enemy Hoping, just hoping, I see him before he sees me. No real idea of what's going to happen next. Will I be face to face with my foe in minutes few? Will I hear the rumble of tanks or the thunder of artillery? Maybe the screams of attack aircraft? Will I still be here tomorrow to smell that crisp morning air? Will I ever, ever, see my wife and children again? I should be terrified, but I'm not. Why? Because I have Peter by my side. As I look beyond Peter, I can see Tony, Mark, and Frank. As I look to my right, I see David, John, and Philip. And I realize why I have no fear. My brothers, what a difference they make. Do you have your own support network? Comrades in arms? Your version of my brothers? People who've got your back. People who make life just a little bit more fun. With shared common goals, shared burdens. People who raise you up so you can stand on mountains. Life in the army was full of those times when I needed my brothers. Tough times, tough situations. But where as a group, we felt we could laugh in the face of adversity. Just like at the time when an enemy rocket flew above our heads, ricocheted off a building and landed in a river without exploding. <laughs> you missed us. <laughs> Maybe it was bravado, maybe it was strength in numbers, but I think it was that unmistakable bond of brotherhood. Imagine then my feelings when after 28 years I left my military family, my brothers, and I stepped through the doors into civilian life, into the unknown, away from my sheltered existence and into this big, bad world in which you all thrive. I should have been terrified, but I wasn't. Why? Because I had my family, my friends, their encouragement, their support. And everywhere I went, I was met with a smile, a handshake, and made to feel welcome. What a difference it makes. Standing here today at Toastmasters, I'm facing one of the greatest fears of mankind. It's not spiders, mm -hmm. it's not kittens, and it's not our chief judge over there. <laughs> but public speaking. I should be terrified, but you guessed it, I'm not. Why? Because I have my brothers, my sisters, my friends, you. You encourage me, you motivate me, you mentor me. 
friendly smile, a kind word, some positive feedback, please. <laughs> I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You don't have to serve in the military or go toe to toe with the enemy to find people that make a difference. Not just brothers, but sisters, family, friends, colleagues, anybody that can lift you up from that quagmire of self-doubt and fear. Do you remember a time in the last year, the last month, maybe even the last week, when you were supported by your own brothers, sisters, family, or friends? Was it the very fact that they were there for you, encouraging you, supporting you, that you were able to step forward, smile, and be positive driving forward? I quote the lyrics from the song You Raised Me Up by Josh Groban throughout my speech. Because those words have such power and such purpose, and they truly reflect my feelings. I'm eternally grateful to my brothers who carried me through some tough times, to my family for their support and encouragement through thick and thin, and for my friends for always being there. You raised me up to be more. Thank you.